Hey guys, this is Biz from bsnooch.com and we're back again with another SMOD Map Add 101 tutorial video. Today we're going to talk about how to play a sound through your Map Add file. Pretty simple. Uh, there is some quite a bit of explanation though, so uh, hopefully this will be a short video, but you never know. Okay, so let's go right into our Map Add file today. And uh, Actually, you know what? Let's pull up the documentation here. I've got it right here. So there is a custom entity in SMOD called Sound. Uh, this is because the author had uh, kind of a hard time using the traditional Half-Life 2 uh, sound entity, ambient generic. Um, so he kind of made his own thing. It's a custom entity called Sound, and it's got a couple uh, key values here, special ones that we're going to go over. Target name origin and sound name <clears throat> so the way this works is um, the game as soon as uh, it reads this entity it plays a sound so generally you're going to want to put these into a um, their own entities group a labeled group so let's go ahead and make one called sound test let's open a new whoops <laughs> too many. Let's open a new little data section here with some brackets and let's add in our entity sound and then we'll give it some key values sound name origin and target name okay So let's start with um, start with an origin one first. Okay, what do these do? Sound name. <clears throat> well, if you read the map add documentation here, this is actually the name of the sound that we want to play. However, you can't just like point to a, um, a sound file. Uh, Half Life Two needs sound IDs see right here a valid sound ID and these are uh, whoops that's not what we want these are put out in scripts so let's come over to our smod 40 folder and you should have a scripts folder inside that let's start with this file game sounds manifest <clears throat> this is pretty important so this file loads at the beginning and then it pre-caches a bunch of other text files and what these uh, other files do is they have um, they have uh, sound IDs in them that point to sound so this is really the main file here you can see it loads all kinds of stuff like game sounds sounds for the player sounds for weapons sounds for different levels like the lab or the coast or the prison uh, different NPCs like the citizen or the zombies and you can um, actually add in your own custom ones all you do is really just copy one of these files or one of these entries and then you can change it to something like I don't know custom sounds and then all you'd have to do would be to create a new text file in the scripts folder that matches this and you can make your own uh, sound manifest file so very cool today um, we're going to take some smod sounds from game sounds fireworks and we're gonna play one of those so let's look for game sounds fireworks there it is let's open that up and I've already uh, done some changes to this but so you can see here here is all the data that should be in your file and you might be like whoa what is all this stuff don't worry I've broken it down right here you start with a sound ID which is what we're looking for and then we give it some descriptors it has key values and then of course the most important part is the wave uh, which is your path to your sound file that you want to play 
I'm not going to do a big breakdown on this. There's plenty of them uh, on the internet. Uh, just that should give you an idea. So these opening uh, ones are your sound IDs, which is what we want. And the sound ID has all kinds of stuff like it tells it what channel to play on, what volume. Like this one plays at 100% volume. What the sound level is like. You know, gunfire, so it's as loud as a gunshot. And then, of course, the path to the actual file uh, that we're going to play, which is miscellaneous fireworks pawn dot wave. So let's come over here into our sound folder, miscellaneous fireworks, and then pawn. And you should be able to hear that. Some cool firework sounds. That's the one we're going to play in the map. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> so, let's copy this sound ID. And come over here and paste it into our map add file. <laughs> um, now let's get an origin for the sound. And I think we should just make it play right where the player starts. So uh, again, we'll use our little uh, cheat here for getting origins, impulse 90. And we'll just take the player's eye position. That's always a good one. And just go ahead and whoops, paste it over in here. Okay, so now you have a sound. And this sound is the fireworks sound. And it's gonna play from this origin. A couple more things we need to do. Um, if you try to do this just right now, in fact, let me just show you what happens. You actually have to pre cache the sound. If you don't, and we do use our developer command to run a labeled group, and we run our sound test labeled group, you should be able to see in the console here that the uh, Miscellaneous fireworks pawn dot wave was not pre cached, so it did not play. So let's go over to our map add file and we will up here at the pre cache section. Usually you put this at the top of your file, you don't have to, but just find that section. We'll add a new entry called sound, and then we just need to point to our um, wave path. So we'll just copy it right out of the console. Boom, check it out. Okay, so now we have that pre-cached. The last thing we need to do is, um, for some reason the sound doesn't play through, uh, doesn't play in the game when you run it through a, this command instant trigger run via the console. It's just some, some kind of weird thing. Like I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean. So if we run that thing again, you can see we're not getting a pre-cache error anymore, but there's no sound. <clears throat> so we need to actually put in a, uh, a trigger into the entities section to call that labeled group. So come up to the entity section We'll make a little instant trigger, and uh, we'll give it some key values. Uh, one of them is going to be a timer. We'll make this a time trigger, and we want it to go off after, I, I don't know, maybe two seconds. And then, of course, we're going to call a labeled group, and that labeled group is uh, sound test. Okay, so now when the map loads, uh, two seconds later, we'll call our sound test. <coughs> We've got our wave file pre-cached. And then, of course, uh, we're going to be playing the fireworks sound uh, from right next to the airboat using an origin. So, let's see how it goes. And I'm actually going to boost the audio way up uh, for this so you guys can hear. So, let's restart. Two seconds. Did you hear the fireworks sound? Do it one more time. Nice. Working good.
Um, let's uh, <clears throat> let's do target name while we're here too. So let's get rid of origin. Comment that out so the game doesn't read it. And uh, pop this thing in full screen. So if you remember, um, oops. Let me put my map ad stuff on here. If you remember, target names actually give a name to the entity so you can um, refer to them. And we can see what things target names are by using the ent name command. So I'll go ahead and pop that in. Let's make the sound come from this barrel. Stucky. So let's go ahead and come down here. And we'll put in the target name is Stucky. And let's just use our two second trigger and see if we can hear it. We may not be able to, not quite sure. So let's restart. So you can see here it ran, but you couldn't quite hear it. So let's, um, let's actually come back down here. And uh, we can map that stuff. Let's get the origin of this barrel using the fizz launcher. And we'll come up here to our. Where's that instant trigger? Right here. Let's go ahead and make a, a regular type trigger. Forget the timer. Let's give it a radius of about. I don't know, uh, 300, no, 200. So now there'll be a trigger, a 200 unit trigger around this barrel, so it'll only go off when we get close. Make sure you save your map ad file. We'll restart. Now let's come down here and see if we can get it to play. Hear it? I'm not sure if I heard it. Mm, yeah, I didn't hear it. All right, <clears throat> I got a better one. Instead of uh, the barrel, let's use. Uh, exclamation point player now this is since the player doesn't actually have an uh, a, a target name you can actually use this custom command and this is in half-life 2 it's not smod specific uh, to call the player so let's save it we'll try that and let's come down here and see if we can set off our trigger There we go. So, I'm not sure why the barrel wasn't working. Maybe because there's multiple barrels named Stucky. There might even be another one farther off in the map. It might be calling from that one. Let's see. Oops. Oh, yeah. This, oh, yeah there's a whole bunch of them. So it is. It was probably calling from one of these. If you actually uh, go back and look at the map ad documentation where it says target name, if there are multiple characters of the same name, it just searches for the first entity. So that's prob probably why we were having some trouble there. Um, so yeah, that's how it works. Uh, now you have uh, you can play sounds through your map ad. Very cool. You can do this uh, to play music. There's also a music entity, but yeah, we'll get to that later. Uh, was there anything else I wanted to show you? Yes, yes. Okay, so let's... um. If you're having trouble finding a specific sound, you can go ahead and open up Hammer and uh, make a new map. And over here, there's a little... I think they called this the Axe Tool. I'm not sure, but... Uh, no, Entity Tool. Click the little white uh, chest looking piece, I guess. 
and uh, <clears throat> go ahead and make one in your map and then if you click on it and hit alt enter you open the properties and the class of entity name this some um, ambient generic enter oops <laughs> enter apply and if you come down here to this I'm not sure if you can see this but it says sound name click browse and you'll open up the actual sound player <coughs> excuse me and you can um, there's a whole filter section so you can filter for like um, alarm and it'll show you all the different alarms and you can actually listen to them by hitting preview. Okay, stop. And uh, this will help you find what you want. And you can see uh, under sound name, there's actually two different ways you can do this. Game sounds for the sound type. This will actually give you the, um, the sound ID and the sound file will be right here. So. This is a very easy way to get both sound IDs and also the WAV files to pre-cache. And it'll tell you too which, um, which uh, script this is in. So there's a very easy way to uh, pull up different sounds like helicopter, uh, anything like that. You know, the crash sound. So yeah, that should cover everything about sounds. I hope you guys enjoyed. Get out there and make some map ads, and um, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.